had a quick peek at the app I trailer bit as I was uh, getting ready to watch you. Like, it's 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 like oh, it's like hey, you ask AI, can you make me a super woke Star Wars trailer? Right? Can you do that for me? Right? And this is what it will come out. It is. So ridiculously woke, right? Just so ridiculously woke. Uh, uh, I am enjoying the Bad Batch, though, right? They do describe the Bad Batch as I will be describing it later in the uh, when I in the in this in this episode in the stream as the um, the end of the George Lucas vision of Star Wars. And I I do I do tend tend to agree with that, right? I think that's a pretty valid uh, um, observation, right? It's um, like uh, look, honestly, I it's it 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 came, grew out the the Clone Wars, right? So, um, which was very very George Lucas. Like those prequels were very George Lucas, right? So it grew out the Clone Wars, and I I find it legitimate Star Wars. If you find the prequels legitimate Star Wars, which again I do, uh, even though not very good, that's a problem, right? But what the what the Star Wars prequels lacking a Han Solo, right? They're lacking a like. A dashing rogue figure. You know who should have been that? You know, oh man, what a shame! They even cast the right guy, uh, um, Senator Organa. Right? He should have been like a cocky pirate smuggler who had to become a set like something like that. You could do something really interesting with that, right? Oh man, you could you could add a swagger. You need that it lacks somebody with swagger. Can you imagine now, young Obi Wan Kenobi with like? A, a Han Solo type character, it's much better, isn't it? It just got a lot better. We just got lots of angsty stuff about, oh, I don't know. Having said that, I did very much like the uh, Anakin Skywalker sequences in, in Ahsoka. They were very, very good, right? I mean, they can't digitally de I mean, they probably can soon, but digitally de age somebody and do a whole show set the Clone Wars, because that was great. Anyway, so the Clone Wars, uh, I mean, while well, not Shakespeare, certainly um, got my interest, right? I mean, I, I, I found it like legitimate Star Wars, right? I, I, uh, and as it grew, I, I got into the characters a lot more. I, I, I like the, like, you taking a this little view of, a, of a, uh, a much bigger world, like the view from, uh, from the, the Clone View, right? And I found that really interesting, right? I really do, do because the... the uh, they know they're clones, and it's like, you know, how they express individuality. It's in, they're, they're like individual people. It is very interesting. So I like the way it grew. And then you have this thing called the Bad Batch grew, grew out of that, who are like, you know, a dirty dozen clone force, essentially. Uh, and um, yeah, the last episodes of Clone Wars were fantastic. Were absolutely fantastic. It kind of tied together... Um, it was a parallel story that went on the same time as Revenge of the Sith, right? Um, so it's really fascinating. And then Clone Wars, right? Clone Wars. Uh, I mean, then uh, Bad Batch is essentially you. You see what happened after uh, after Revenge of the Sith, and you see the like how they're being. Um, how the Empire is implementing itself, and I find it. it, it I find it a lot better. This would be a lot better and more compelling representation of it than um, what's that show? I didn't like that much. Uh, Andor, right? Which was um, man, Andor would have been good as a movie or like a four-part miniseries, like ten-part. Oh, stop already! Like they should have been at that bank job at like the end of the second episode. Right, they just dragged it out, and dra I don't know how long they dragged it out for. It just feels like it was a long time before you saw that bank job. Right, let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look, because that's really where it started. Right, if you, if you don't know, uh, Andor is the uh, hit one second Andor episode. Star Wars Andor. So there we go, Doink. Um Which was a lot. There was a lot good about it. Right, there was a lot good about it. I want the Wikipedia, not the Wikipedia. Oh, for God's sake. I got the too many entries. Wikipedia, and or... Oh, it was the first one. Okay, it's the first link. I, I Admittedly, I missed it, right? I missed it. Uh, don't worry, go. Ah. 
present chess green window i think that's it and or yes okie dokie so all these awards who cares who cares give me the episode guide boring boring even looking for the episode guide is boring ah uh, uh, there we go was it 12 episodes Bloody fucking hell um did they get up to this the squad yet Aided by Gorn. Gorn? Like from Star Trek? The rebels infiltrated the garrison posing as an... Yeah, it's episode six. Uh, all this is filler, right? Basically, most of this is filler. Episode six? This should have been episode two. Um, right, yeah, because the show, it picks up around episode seven where he, uh, where you see what he does. After the, basically, they bring him into this bank job uh, uh, and they just... Oh, goes on. Ever. Six episodes of pure boredom. Then it gets quite good because he then goes on vacation with his winnings, right? Uh, uh, and he gets uh, uh, arrested by the unjust uh, imperial forces. Uh, and he's, he's, he's sent to a, j a jail for a while, right? So that goes on for quite some time in jail. That may, That's a lot of good, right? But uh, first six episodes, man, cack. Man. There's some nice artwork there. Let me just see if I can find. What was the ad here? I mean, this artwork is uh, I, just excellent, right? I just wish it lived up to this. Man, boring shit it was, right? It was just boring, boring shit. Anyway, oh, anyway, so yeah, so Bad Batch, right? I was going Bad Batch. So that's really developing. In fact, let's do the review right now. Right? Hey, let's do the show right here. One second, Star Wars Bad Batch. See, that way I feel like I've done something useful in life, right, at that point, uh, uh, by reviewing Bad Batch. I don't know how that works out, right? I don't know how that works out, but it does. It does. Do I have a picture of them then? Hang on, doink. Uh, that's a good picture. we do this, open a new tab. Doink. Ah. Wait, 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 where's that picture? That was really cool. Hang on one second. I, I got to find it. Copy link address. Doink. Man, hearing old men shout at their computer. There you go. There you go. Doink, let me share this. Share screen. All right, I figure, yeah, we're, we're basically up doing a review of it, right? Uh, uh, so I saw another four episodes of this. Um, I'm really enjoying it, right? I am really enjoying this, as I was uh, uh, just saying. So again, they call this the the end of the um, George Lucas vision of Star Wars, and it very much feels that way. So yeah, the, the the whole looking at the clones during the Clone Wars, how they and that and their role in war being a war thing, and, they, and you get to flesh out the Jedi more. Uh, interesting. So these were like the dirty dozen ones, and they span off into everything. Um, really great. So anyway, it, it start in the beginning of it. They pick up this young girl who's a direct clone of Boba Fett. So. Uh, one thing that really irks me is, a lot is because the lack of direction in the Star Wars universe. Because if they had any intelligence whatsoever, they would have scrapped everything they're doing. They just get oh, Ray movie, stop. Just stop. Acolyte. Oh, we'll look at that in a minute as well. I just stop. All, all this, uh, stop. Okay. This actually works. This works in Star Wars. But I would do, uh, like, she's what? 12 in the in, in this, which is like uh what, 10, 15 here. Do we have a Star Wars timeline? Star Wars timeline. Let me there must be one. Okay. <laughs> I mean uh but I want, I want with the actual years on. No uh, no, not chronology. Ah, uh, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Um, so I want to know how long it is between. Oh, come on. Wait, what's, what, what about this one? Does this one say? No, it doesn't, does it? Let's see what this one. Star Wars Timeline. But this, what is this from? From 2023. Old Republic. Here. Yeah. Act like God help us. God help us. Right, 19 years before Yavin, right? So we're at, no, we're about 16 years before the Battle of Yavin, I guess. So that's uh, uh, 16 years before Star Wars. So 
Uh, so when does um, what was saying take place? Empire Strikes Back. I mean, I mean, Return of the Jedi take place. Skeleton crew, we don't know yet. Ahsoka, eleven years after. Yeah, I wish that was better. Ahsoka, right? I wish that was better. Last year up here, thirty-four. Go away! None of this ever happened. Stop. Thirty-four years, eleven years. Bob Bob is nine years. Oh, Return of the Jedi. So four years after. Fine. So let's say she is. Uh, let's say she's eleven in this show, right? And then to get to the Mando timeline, that that's uh, twenty years later. Like she'll be in her mid thirties. She's the right age to be a good heroine. They really could, and then it'll be good to see some of the, the bad facts when they're old somehow meeting up in a, in a, in a, in a cinematic way. That will, that's what they would do if they were clever, right? When they do a Mando and Luke Skywalker movie, if they were smart, but they're not. They're dumb, fuck, stupid. Anyway, this little side story I'm really enjoying. Okay, <laughs> but but in the yeah, I uh, 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 want to go around as it. It's um. Uh, so basically you've got like the main one, which looks like Rambo, but they all sound like, um, Boba Fett because they're all, all clone from him. And then you got, it used to have this techie one that got killed at the end, the end of season two. And that, cause you know, you grew up with him, like you've not grew up with him, but you, you grew very attached to him. Like these, these are very realistic and well-realized characters. They, um, it was, it was kind of wrenching when he died, right? I, that was, it was called tech, that one. Uh, you had the big bruiser one who was called Wrecker. And then the guy who's like a cyborg one there. Uh, he's, in, he's in it off and on. He was more a character from Clone Wars that got captured and got turned into a robot y person. And that's, so that's the thing. So you do see the, a lot of the crew, uh, troops from Clone Wars, especially in the, these episodes I'm going to talk to you about today, about what's happened in the years since, which is uh, a lot of disillusionment in, in the growth of the Empire, in, in what the Empire is doing. Uh, uh, you know, for quite quite good uh, good reasons. So at the bottom we see like, uh, well, we see the emperor he hasn't showed up yet, but I'm sure he will. Uh, and uh, so when it, when Order sixty six happened at the beginning, of, which is when this starts essentially, the um, the 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 uh, dirty dozen, the, the bad batch, so uh, clones, they weren't affected, but one of them was. They had like a sharpshooter called Dead Eye, I think. I mean, listen, these names are not. They're, they're, they're not breaking the bounds of originality with them. God bless them, right? But it still works. Is it Dead Eye? I can't even, I'll, I'll find out when we look at the Wikipedia in a second now. No, doink. Doink, where is it? Uh, we'll go back there. Doink. What's the name of the character? And now, now, now it's going to make me uh, crazy that I mem remember the, uh, the character's name. Echo. Starring. What, why don't I have each of the characters like... That's really weird. Like, why not list them? Okay, that's. I can't, can I have a list of characters? That's that's crazy. Uh, so the one guy plays all, all the characters, but you say, uh, was it Hunter Wrecker Tech Echo Crosshair? Fine, yeah, he's the uh, uh, the snipery one, right? So he was working with the uh, Empire. He 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 was conditioned to do the Order sixty six. Well, the other ones threw it off, and so he's been a, a ongoing a antagonist of the group over the last couple of seasons. Over the but during season two, he's become more and more uh, disillusioned with with the Empire until eventually kills his uh, imper Imperial commander, and he gets sent to this uh, creepy cloning facility place. So the guy at the bottom is so far the big bad of the show. He is the chief cloner. Uh, he's got, like, the uh, woman from Camino, that cloning woman, uh, whoever it is, I don't know her name, uh, and, like, as prisoner. It started at the beginning, in the first season, you see Camino get get blown up, which, again, for me, I like... I, this all kind of ties everything together, so that, that, that really works. Uh, and he's doing some strange things with the clones, uh, like altering them to become like super soldiers. Anyway, so uh, at the beginning of this season, you had Echo was captured by the bad, creepy cloning guy from the uh, uh, the Imperial cloning guy, and the uh, uh, she was in the same facility with Crosshair, right? And they broke out together, and now they're back with the bad batch, Crosshair included, even though they were enemies. And that's where we are. There's like a very there's little trust between them right now, which uh, uh, is essentially what this episode is about, season three. 
Uh, wait, wait, don't, don't you? So that starts off with the return, right? There's the return. Yeah, the return's the one that 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 one came. That one came out. Uh, yeah. So it's been that while I was not seen it. Uh, with the uh, with the that with the damage that their shuttle sustained in their escape, uh, Amiga and Crosshair are forced to crash land on the planet Lao. They make their way to a nearby spaceport where Crosshair wants to use uh, force to hijack a ship, while Amiga insists on acquiring uh, the money from. Uh, they uh, they need to bribe the clerk through a gambling sales. I don't remember any of this. I watched it yesterday. Is this the one? No, this is the one. I no, this is the um, one I watched beginning. Fine. They they dropped like four pretty early on, like within in the first week. Okay. No, it's the return. That's the one they are. All right. Surprise. Fine. I was like, what the hell? I watched this and I don't remember anything about a gap. What the fuck? What's going on? I'm confused. The Return, episode five. That's where I'm starting. Despite the other's tentative tolerance and the presence of uh, Omega's en encouragement, Crosshair still uh, struggles with uh, the repercussions of his betrayal and captivity. Yeah, no, he was like a big bad villain, basically through m most of the, for the first season and uh, a good chunk of the second, right? It was only Echo who, uh, you know, the, the slowing and brave young girl who's the key to everything, probably. Um, but, you know, don't hold that against her, because she's actually quite a good character as well. Uh, so, so she, she like, tries... She sees the good narrow, and she wants to bring him back. Uh, uh, so they're all, like, tolerating her, him because of her. Uh, Echo returns to Pabu, and together with uh, the Batch, who were, uh, discusses the experiments conducted on the clones at uh, Tantis. Yeah, that's the base she broke out, out from. The more uh, to get more details from Nala's aside. Okay, so this is the problem with this episode. I remember right, right? The problem with this episode is this: it suffers from um, ga gaming writing. Right, everything is problem overcome. Problem. It, it, it's this it is basically a video game, right? Fine. Yeah, they uh, when they escape from the base, they got the the Camino woman. Yeah, the one with the long necks. Uh, data pad thing and they got they got to be able to access it they uh they said oh we could get into it with the text so then crosshair says no it's okay i'm filling in that role now and said all we got to do is go to a imperial facility to be able to um open it which is what they do right so they go he takes them to um this place where he had a previous adventure where he um fell, fell out, out out of love with the empire and uh ended up hating everyone like yeah i i think it was a uh, not a fun place for him, right? So um, they they go to uh, they go there and they need to divert power. Oh, right, they divert power from the defense perimeter, but then there's a giant monster that attacks them. It's again, it's a video game. This episode is literally a video game. But essentially, you got the little uh, a little bit of character stuff that you have. Um, what's the main one called again? The Rambo one, the one that looks like Rambo. Right, doesn't trust cr uh, Crosshair, but they, they bond over their, their love of uh, Echo. Uh, what's the name of the uh, Echo? No, Echo, what was he going to say? Uh, Hunter. Hunter, there you go. Uh, is that the guy who plays all of them? <laughs> okay. Uh, Hunter and Crosshair, they, 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 they don't trust each other, but Crosshair ends up you know, com uh, coming up a good and when he sees him in a fraught situation. Okay, so we're going to move on, right? So... The episode six and seven, I really liked, right? Oh, it was a double one. They put them out. They're just pissing this stuff out too quickly, right? These are really good episodes. I wonder why is there's so many gone by. I'm like, it's, I'm sure I saw it a week ago. What's going on? Um, so this is a good two-parter where you see what's been going on with the uh, the clones they've been experimenting on, where they've basically been toned into like, these super soldiers, right, who are like, yeah, kick ass and do the incredible things. So they, um, you ha you're having some, uh, a couple of like politicians meet from, you know, Clone Wars or like uh, pre prequel era, uh, pe pe uh, prequel era politicians who were enemies on the other side of the Clone Wars. Now they're like, they're both terrified of the Empire. They're meeting and they're being protected by a bunch of ex clones or ex, uh, ex stormtrooper clones, but still. They still got their their old like Clone Wars Stormtrooper armor on, but they've they've uh, uh, left the um, uh, you know left the Empire, 
right? Uh, uh, and they're now fighting against it. As, you know, so it's another band of like clone, of uh, band batty type clones, you know, like, who, who aren't happy with what's going down. So um, they they catch the guy, yeah, what somebody who's tries to uh, um, uh, assassinate one of these politician people is one of the politician people is one of these super assassiny clone people. Right, so they um, what do they do? They they capture him and they uh, and they find out and he can't get any photo, but he's got a disc with other targets on. One of the targets is none other than Amiga, right? Uh, and they want her dead or captured. They can't tell, right? So um, they uh, uh, yeah, the super assassin uh, clones uh, clone is another one's activated. And he tracks his clone brother, right? Uh, somehow, yeah, got a tracker thing on them, and he discovers all of them, and and that and that brings on this like entire attack, right, from um, the 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 Imperial clones, which uh, uh, which goes like again, it, it this is I, as opposed to what the Return episode five, this is actually a real storytelling because I cared about the characters and the situation. It wasn't like. Obstacle overcome obstacle, obstacle overcome obstacle, right? It was um, cause and effect, yeah, you know, cause and effect, sure, but it was much more telling a story, right? Which I, which I, I yeah, I found really quite quite a compelling one. Which you have a bunch of clones. They uh, there's basically a civil war going on on, on in the clones there because you have one uh, group that's like uh, against the empire and the other group that's still for the empire. It's like the people you know who still vote for Biden, right? They're like really. Really, at this point, you're still on board with the Empire. You're still on board, right? Really? Uh, uh, they can't see they're lying to you in every way. No? Okay, I guess not. I guess not. What can I tell you? But anyway, this is the end of the George Lucas Star Wars, right? Uh, and I, sad, but it is true, which is, I think, why I'm, I'm, I'm not enjoying it because of the end of George Lucas Star Wars. I'm enjoying it because it's George Lucas Star Wars, right? That's, that, that's essentially why. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!